Hey guys, this is Chris with Lajax Media again. Today we're going to be looking at a tool called Driver Finder. You can visit the page where you can actually save 50% on purchasing this by going to driverfinder.pro. That link's also under this video in the description box. If you click on it, it'll take you straight to the page where you can save 50%. I don't know how long that offer will be available, so I would take advantage of it now. But what I want to do is give you a brief review or overview of Driver Finder, show you what it does and how it works. And as you can see here, I've already downloaded it and I've installed it on my computer. And this is what it shows when you launch the software. And the program itself is extremely simple. And what it does is it automatically uh, will go out there and find and search your computer for all the drivers on your computer. You can see here it's found 200 drivers on my computer which you'd never imagine a computer has that many drivers, but you'd be surprised. And out of those, 187 of them are up to date. 13 of them are out of date. And the 13 out of date drivers can actually cause a lot of problems depending on what they're for. Now, many of these drivers can be uh, for your audio. They can be for your video, your webcam, motherboard, monitors, your USB drivers, Bluetooth, your CD, DVD drivers. Um, or printers, maybe you got errors that says your, your device is not recognized. Uh, also for like Ethernet uh, drivers, router drivers, wireless drivers, your computer has all different kinds of drivers on it. And if they're not up to date, it can cause problems with your computer. For instance, if your audio drivers are not updated, it can cause your sound not to work properly. Or if your video drivers are not updated, uh, your video may not play the way it's supposed to on your computer. And so if you're having some types of issues with your computer that deals with this kind of stuff, um, that's probably the issue that you're having. And that's what this software will fix for you. So with Driver Finder, once you download it, all you're going to do is come up and you're going to click the Start Scan button. And it doesn't take very long at all for it to run through and scan all of your drivers. And it's going to kind of give you a little overview here that tells you how many uh, total devices are on your computer and or how many it says total devices but it's really kind of you know drivers and then how many scanned and then it's going to tell you the ones that are out of date so for example right here is telling me that my video card is out of date uh the current version i have one here is from may 17th and a new one just came out it looks like one week ago on uh, june the 7th and so all i have to do is click this download button and it's going to automatically download this for me so i don't have to go out there and spend who knows how long trying to find that driver myself and the same thing with my audio driver. You can see here that the current version I have is from June 21st of 2016, and the newest version came out, it looks like, just about three weeks ago. And uh, my printer driver is out of date, which that could actually explain the problems that I've been having with it recently, as well as uh, systems, uh, USB. So I've got quite a few drivers here that need updated, but everything is right here for me. And all I have to do is just click these blue buttons and it's going to download and install these drivers for me. So I don't have to go out there and spend all that time doing it myself. Now, what I do recommend before you download the new drivers on your computer is to go over here where it says backup drivers, click it and click on backup all. And what this is going to do is going to back up all your current drivers on your computer. So when you do download the new ones, if for some reason there is a conflict and it causes some kind of error on your computer, you can simply come back in here to restore drivers and it will allow you to browse for the backup you made and restore those back uh, to the previous version. There's also the settings button here, which really doesn't do much. It just gives you the option to check for a new version when your program starts and to start driver finder on login gives you a download location your backup location which you can choose and then the proxy settings you don't have to mess with that and so that is the overview of driver finder and like i said right now you can save 50 percent on it I'm going to driverfinder.pro that link is under this video you can see here there is a coupon code uh, that automatically gets applied when you go to this link and you can choose here if you want to include two years of unlimited driver updates for five dollars more um, you know that's totally optional but once you do that you can just choose to purchase through credit card or paypal and it'll go through and give you access to that and you can see here it is available for windows xp vista windows 7 8 and 10 as well as for both the 32-bit and 64-bit systems so i hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, review on driver finder